Hello friends. In our last two videos, we have discussed the experiment based on the interference and diffraction of light. And on interference of light, we have discussed the uh, Newton's ring experiment. And on diffraction, we have discussed the diffraction grating experiment. And today we discuss a very important property of light that is polarization of light. And the experiment is by quartz polarimeter and we will discuss the Biber questions based on this by quartz uh, polarimeter experiment and this experiment is very important in uh, physics labs of undergraduate programs here we discuss briefly about the experiment and the aim is to determine the specific rotation of sugar solution using by quartz polarimeter and we will need the apparatus as by quartz polarimeter, light source, a glass tube for the solution and measuring flask and sugar to make the solution. Here we have a source of light and this light is passed through a lens and first it is passed through a Nicole prism which is works as here polar, as a polarizer because it is ordinary light or unpolarized light and this uh, now it is polarized light it is passed through the bi quartz uh, device or bi quartz disc and then this passed through this polarized light is passed through the glass tube and uh, in in which the sugar solution is there and which will change the uh, plane of vibration of this polarized light and we can see again we have a nicole prism but it will it is little bit rotated because this uh, this solution have changed the uh, angle of rotation of the polarized li uh, light and we can measure it using two barriers b1 and b2 using this uh, uh, telescope and the formula used for calculation of the specific rotation s is theta into v divided by m into l and the unit is degree per decimeter per gram per centimeter cube where theta is the angular rotation in degree b the volume of water in cc m is the uh, amount of sugar in gram l is the length of tube in decimeter so using this we can find out the specific rotation so we can do uh, repeat this experiment for two or three concentrations and then we can take the average as of this S1, S2 and S3 and uh, then compare it with the standard value of S for the specific uh, rotation of sugar solution. Now we will discuss the Viva questions based on this experiment. First question is what is polarization of light? So polarization is the process of converting non-polarized light into the polarized light and what is the next question is what is the difference between the polarized and ordinary or unpolarized light so basically the natural light like sunlight and tube light these are unpolarized and they have the uh, vibrations or electric field vector in all the directions this is unpolarized light and when it is passed through a polarizer or some polarized sheet we get the vibrations only in a specific direction so polarized light has a transverse component e vector in a specific direction here we can see while in the ordinary light it vibrates in all the directions so suppose we have the light wave and they are in this case we can see the vibrations are in all the directions whereas after passing through a polarizer it it have the vibrations only in one direction so now it is polarized light what is a polarimeter it is a device to measure the angle of rotation of plane of polarization rotated by an optically active material and what is specific rotation or define the specific rotation the specific rotation of an optically active substance at a given temperature is the rotation in degrees of the plane of polarization of incident polarized beam produced by 
one decimeter length of the substance of unit concentration. And what are optically active substances? Uh, optically active substances rotate the plane of polarization or the plane of vibration of plane polarized light when it passes through it. So it is unpolarized light, the electric field vibrations are in all directions and when it is passes through a polarizer then we have the vibrations only in a single direction here it is perpendicular direction and if it is passed through some optically active material suppose it is passed through this then we can see the angle of this electric field vector is changed from here to here with theta degree so this these are known as the optically active substances so what are different optically active substances or what are the types of optically active substances? So there are two types of optically active substances. One is right-handed or known as ductro rotatory, and the other one is left-handed or levo rotatory. And what are these substances, dextro and levo? And give some examples. Dextro rotates the plane of polarized light towards the right or in clockwise direction, whereas Levo rotatory rotates the plane of polarized light towards the left or anti clockwise direction. And the examples for dextro rotatory are cane sugar solution, glucose, solution of camphor in alcohol, and tartaric acid solution. Whereas some examples of levo rotatory materials are fructose, nicotine, turpentine oil, which is used in varnish what is plane polarized light plane polarized light has the vibrations in a single direction perpendicular to direction of propagation here we can see that ordinary light or unpolarized light have the these electric field vibrations in all directions and when it is passes uh, passing through a polarizer or some polarized sheet we get the vibrations only in one direction that is in this uh, vertical direction so this is plane polarized light now and what is plane of polarization so the plane of polarization is that the it is it contains the direction of propagation of light and uh, this uh, plane e f g h here shown is in this uh, yellow shaded plane this is known as the plane of polarization and it is it is in X jet plane here. And what is plane of vibration? Plane of vibration contains the direction of vibration and the direction of propagation. So it is this uh, A, B, C, D plane, this plane, and uh, it is in uh, X, Y plane. How does the specific rotation depends on temperature? And in some substances, it decreases with rise in temperature like turpentine, while in quartz, it increases. And what is the unit of specific rotation? It is degree per decimeter per gram per cc. And the what is the standard value of specific rotation of can sugar solution in water? So the standard value is 60 plus 66.5 degree per decimeter per gram per cc at room temperature. So what are the main parts of polarimeter? Polarimeter have a polarizer, analyzer and a polarimeter tube and the polarizer and analyzer both are nickel prisms and in polarimeter tube we fill the solution. Next question is what is the function of analyzer and polarizer? So polarizer changes the uh, ordinary light into plane polarized light and then analyzer is used to see the analyze uh, the light emitted through the optically active material here from the solution the ang angle of rotation have changed so we can use it by analyzer what is a bicward device Bicards consist of two semicircular disc, two semicircular disc of right-handed 
and left handed quartz material. So, one is uh, Libu rotatory or left handed quartz, and one semi circular disc is from dextro rotatory quartz or right handed quartz. And then they are pasted with uh, some transparent cement and it forms a circular disc. And this device is known as the bi quartz device because of this two semi circular quartz disc. So, next question is what is double refraction? Double refraction or birefringence is the splitting of a ray of light into two rays when it passes through certain type of materials. Uh, for example, calcite is one of the material. And one ray which is, is known as ordinary ray or O ray which passes straight through the crystal. Suppose this is unpolarized light and it, if it is passes through the calcite crystal, so one ray will directly passes through it. It is known as ordinary ray or O ray. Whereas one another ray which is known as extraordinary ray or E ray, uh, it diverges uh, from its path and it is little bit displaced. So this second row, uh, ray is uh, extraordinary or E ray. Here it is diverges, so it is E ray. And what is a nickel prism? So nickel prism is made of calcite crystal in such a way that when unpolarized light enters through it, uh, it gives plain polarized light. And this was designed by William Nicole in 1828. And the principle of this Nicole prism is based on the double refraction. Now, what are the uses of Nicole prism? So as we know that Nicole prism is an optical device which is used for the uh, producing and analyzing the plane polarized light. And the Nicole, Nicole prism have two specially cut calcite prisms or pieces which are bounded together with a transparent cement and this is known as Canada balsam, balsam. So it is a transparent cement or some adhesive. So like A, B, C, one prism or one piece is here and another A, D, C, another piece is here and this is pasted by this transparent adhesive or transparent cement Canada balsam. And when some ordinary light or unpolarized light passes through this, so one beam uh, only one part will go, E ray will pass through this uh, Nicole prism, the O ray or ordinary ray will be reflected by total internal reflection. So only we have the pure plane polarized light here. So uh, it eliminates one of the rays by total internal reflection means ordinary rays are eliminated which we have seen in this figure also uh, and only the extraordinary ray is transmitted through the prism which is highly polarized. So what type of waves are light waves? So as we know that light is electromagnetic wave and light have transverse nature and it have electric field vibrations shown by this purple color sine wave and magnetic field vibrations are shown here like in this uh, um, yellow color vibrations and the propagation direction is in perpendicular to both. And which components play the role of light or which is more important? Uh, so electric field vectors or electric field components play important role in light wave. So can we observe the polarization through sound waves? Uh, we do not, we cannot observe the polarization in sound wave because they are longitudinal waves. Because polarization can take place only in the transverse wave. So what are the applications of specific rotation? It is used in sugar factories as a sacrimeter which is an instrument for measuring the concentration of sugar solution. To determine the amount of sugar in urine of a diabetic patient, 
and also in determination of the purity and concentration of ingredients in pharmaceuticals and in drugs so thanks for your your attention and please subscribe like and share uh, this channel and if you have any suggestions then please write in the comment box or any topic you need uh, some video then please write in the comment box and previous video was based on the viva questions on diffraction grating experiment and in our next video we will discuss the viva questions based on the carry poster vis experiment so thanks again